N4 HNH here. Well, uh, where is the Yaesu FT920? That's what I had here in the uh, previous video. Uh, remember, the Yaesu FT DX5000 MP Limited is on its way back to Yaesu. Uh, they seem to think that maybe RF got into the uh, CAT port, the computer aided transceiver port. Um, you know, I, I was using a cable uh, that, you know, I guess it wasn't shielded or it needed a choke on it. But uh, anyway, I won't say who I got the cable from, but it, it is a prominent uh, supplier of cables. But, um, and I had the Yaesu FT920 here for the uh, last few days, and now I thought I'd get out my backpack rig. This is the Yaesu FT891, and um, I gotta tell you, it's no slouch. Um, hooked up the uh, MD100 desk mic here. I've even got the, uh, the little uh, FC or F FH2 controller, and uh, so I can do my. CW, my, my common CW, uh, sending my call signs, some signal reports. Then um, I want to show you something really cool, though, uh, what this video is really about. Although I will say, look at that. That's, that makes a nice little stack. I actually wanted to get the radio at eye level, so I took the uh, Yaesu SP8 external speaker, which has some pretty nice filtering on it. Uh, I use that with the uh, FT920 because it's uh, the same profile. Good speaker. Well, and it puts the radio right where I need it so I can see the display good. Um, so I wanted to show you this, though. When I was uh, getting ready to put the desk mic on, um, I thought, well, okay, you know, normally you have to take the uh, front off the radio to get in there where the mic cable goes. But Yesu is so clever. Look what they did. This, uh, I'm going to turn the radio off so I can show you this. So the base of the MD100... has two jacks on it and one of them let me grab this other cable and show you so this cable does double duty you guys who know about the MD100 uh, know that if you're going to be plugging into a rig with an 8 pin connector the typical Yesu connector in the past well then you plug this connector here into that port into the port right there Looks like a phone jack, only it's bigger. Well, uh, but if you have a rig like the 891 that happens to use this type of a connector to plug into the radio, then what you would do is plug this in here. You, get, you plug this into the, the eight pin goes here and then that plugs into the radio. Super clever, right? All you guys who have MD100s already know that, I'm sure. But what was really cool is I'm not even gonna have to use this mic cable. All I had to do was disconnect the hand mic. Just, just literally press the little button here, or the little lever, pull that out of the hand mic, and plug it into the base of the MD100. So I'm not even, I don't even have to go into the rig. Let me see if I can back out here and let you see. So literally this just plugs in right there to the base of the MD100. I'm trying to do this with one hand, let me see. Sorry about zooming in too close. Here we go. There we go. All right, so that's all I had to do. So the same mic cable that I use when I'm backpacking with the hand mic. I use this rig for summits on the air in my backpack and uh, works out great. So I just wanted to show you guys, uh, really, you know, some somebody really thought that out. The MD100, such a great mic, versatile, and, uh, and then they even thought about, you know, their different types of mic connectors, how you could reverse that. So uh, I may shoot another video showing the 891 in action. I tell you what, it is no slouch. Uh, to be honest with you, what happened was I was using the 920 and it's still just not quite the, the receiver that's in even the 891. And um, the 891's not all that far behind the rigs like the, uh, the FTDX 3000D and, and the 5000. Uh, it, it puts in a pretty good performance uh, against even those rigs. Okay, it doesn't have all of the filtering, but uh, it's got almost all. It doesn't have a pre-selector. Um, and like the FTDX 5000 MP, uh, you know, it can go to a super narrow APF filter. This one just goes plain narrow. But honestly, it's not bad at all. It has a manual notch, so I can do my manual notch trick for uh, CW. 
So anyway, I just thought I'd show you the cool thing about, you know, when I was hooking up the mic, how convenient that uh, turned out to be. All right, 73 from N4, H&H. &H.